no, I'm not going to be playing the Twitch demo. I'm going to be playing the Metroid Dread demo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Demo Day for the Dread demo. I'm going to be playing the Dread demo. Never played a Metroid game before. Heard good things, especially about Dread. I do not know how this will go. I, I, I also highly doubt that the Twitch app would also have a demo in the first place, considering it's not an actual game. But... Who knows? Music is spooky. Dread demo version. That's fine. This is... Make my trick crawl. Um... Oh, I... I'm gonna probably pass on that, I think. I'm gonna play in rookie mode, just in case. Because I probably am going to need that. These... If that's a Metroid, that looks like it probably could already crawl in the first place, so I'm not going to make it crawl. A Metroid is a vibrant, flowing organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could also absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven out by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed to be extinct. Because Samus killed them all. Or this one turned into Samus. Attack Samus. With no Metroid surviving on SR388 to begin mess with the X or find the parasites, people will be hitting into one being and aware of this. I sit from the planet. Infected and almost died. Ooh, gooey. The only containment was vaccine created from natural DNA, which was also left uniquely able to oppose the X. Its ability was tasted, tasted, tested immediately when it went to a biological space lab's BSL research station to invest a distressing. That's just evil Samus. There, I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which is the X mimicking me and my power suit at full strength. I eventually limited the X Menace on SF3D and forced into a BSL research station on a closing course of the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. This one all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Jonah X, a lab in the wild. It's the GBA game pod, if you remember. Okay. That's good to know. I would not have known that. Through analysis proof the video was worth thorough Elliot. I swear I can read. Reading out loud was never my strong suit, apparently. Through analysis proof proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown and the transmission was traced to a particular planet. all one timeline, or just do a, a Zelda try to split thing. Or an Abbey. It was called CBR. The X somehow escaped extinction out there. They were they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of several, seven Emmy to investigate. Jeez. Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract the DNA. Their incredible mobility and predictive plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But in 
not long after their arrival in CDR, all communication was lost. I think it's separate from the Prime series, but you don't really know. Okay, fair enough. I don't think it's that important, I'm just curious, but... If you don't know, you don't know, that's fine. It's... okay. Fair. I, would, I don't think it'd be, I haven't even done that. What is happening in ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? It's the only one to meet with the parasites. It's up to me to go there and find out. Okay. Neat. Neat. Go to ZDR, find out what find out what's happening, and not die. Zangin dangin rongin. Yeah. We'll soon be entering ZDR's atmosphere. Yes, Metroid is a girl. And and her name is Zelda, not Link. Something something. Zelda Link. Oh, we're waking up on the ground. Plane crashed. I like the, the sky blue on her shoulder plating. That elevator leads to the depths of an undercover facility. Signal quality is not everything below. Remote communication remains unbroken. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, they can be in contact. To be fair, that's one of the main reasons why I would do that do that legitimately is to if I know it's wrong, I would just say that to to, to bother one or two people. It's an Emmy, right? It was one of the Emmys that was here. No, that's just a random alien with new powers. And her Zerg. Rex, no, you're not winning this fight! Now we get to start with your trend. Okay. Left stick is to move, B is to jump. Do I get to double jump? No. The double jump category change. That is a fantastic idea. 
Thank you for the reminder. I knew I was gonna forget. This is not Sonic, but Metroid. Tread. All right, that should be good. Uh, the double jump is a little bit of a leap forward. Why to shoot? Press down to duck. Press up to shoot up. X is melee. Why shoot? B is jump. A equals nothing. These triggers do nothing. L is a laser. Yeah. No, absolutely. And this, this one actively does just push you forward. But the other ratchet one is just an extra brief moment in the air, if anything. Art does that... Does something with her rocket hand, but I don't know what it... Oh, I have to why. Okay, R changes it to a rocket instead of just a gun. Okay, also limited on rockets. L slide. Oh, L is also free aim mode. Okay. And I just played them casually, and I only 100% uh, of your arsenal, and that double jump was not. The double jump in one was not fun. first streams I did actually was getting the last Quark Vid comic skill point. So that was the one I had never done. How do I get up here? Like, I can shoot this box to break it. Are some of the tutorial things that I missed? The slide is this is free aim. Yeah, no, the I I stop that that's 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 a story in and of itself is how I went about beating and then hunting side of the game of beating up your arsenal just because. So a, f a friend of mine as a kid and I would had started a playthrough of it and we never we only got to um, uh, Metropolis before. And like that one cutscene where um, Nefarious turns all the. Ooh, that might be it, actually. That, that's it. That's absolutely it. Thank you. You only got to the one scene where Nefarious turns all the Tyranoids into robots, and I was like, okay, you may not like this, I may not like this. I mean, fair enough, I, I wasn't getting that. So, a friend had said, you may not like this. The Biobliterator. Yeah, exactly. So. He was like, you might, you might not like this. I don't like this. I'm going to hold off. And then I never played it for... I didn't play it for a while. And then finally, like, four or five years later, I went back and finished it. Because we were, I was, like, the halfway point of that. And there was nothing really that should have been holding us back. And then... And then, a few years af after that, I thought, I want to do all this. And that took me uh, way too long to do. There's well, lots of breaks in between for no real reason. I don't like that, that hallway. What does this do? This is a statue. That's ammo. Ship races and going commando were 
like the actual flying parts were in, were a mess, especially the trash receptacle place. I did not like that place in the slightest. Uploading data. The ring, the rings weren't bad. It was the race against the other. Unless it was the same. You've accessed the network station. Well done. I've only Dennis. played through it really once. I, I don't remember entirely. Yeah, that was. The th those parts were not fun. The hover bike races were fun though. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My yeah. indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Thank you. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts oh, that's as the you worst. navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport. Uh, that them. does sound Keep program. an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas. I feel like that was the easiest one. The third area. The third there level. are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network station. Yeah, that's part of why. Okay, that's options. That's the map. slide into it and break it. Smacking it doesn't work. You know, like, they obviously wouldn't have a soft lock 15 minutes into the game. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Chop chop real smooth. This is like hidden boxes that I'm missing. Or A, con a, a control or something, or gloss over it. Can I slide? A can I slide another? I can slide another ring. Okay, I could not see that because my microphone's in the way of that section. My, 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 and I could have just looked on OBS. That also would have been better, but I was not thinking of that. Cha Cha Real Smooth. Use a melee counter at the right time to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim with the attacker. Use X to use your melee counter now. Okay, that's funky. Parry them with the melee counter resting X at the right moment. Come on. Da 
to wall jump. Yeah, I have to wall jump. I understand why they want it. But it, it's definitely something I could have. Like with the spear, had been a benefit from. At least on the smaller enemies. So some, some of those enemies are much. I feel like they're too big to counter. The Thunder Draws come to mind specifically, but like. Blinking and it keeps a hidden item is there. Missile tank, nice. Wait, this one? I want to open this. That, that's that's also a bit of a problem too. Yeah, the the hurt loops. There's an enemy. It is very intense. You go, Samus. Get that get that blue juice. Big bad bugaboom. Indeed. Energy from the central unit to transform the arm cannon into an Omega Cannon. Mega Blaster online. how I open those things. Oh, oh. I hope I did that right. <sighs> okay, well I hope that thing's dead. about as dead as it's supposed to be. safe point. Okay, doesn't look like we get out of here yet. I guess we're supposed to 
supposed to go where the first enemy was? Past that? I couldn't go up from there. I was supposed to counter that guy and I didn't. Um, I think I'm going to call that there. It was a pretty, pretty decent amount of time I spent on that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys back here next time for whatever may come up.